Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie Bismar. I'm an author and an editor. My stuff's linked down below. We're starting a new vlog. Um, today's Monday. I don't know why now I thought it was a good time to start the vlog. I guess because I was getting my camera set up. I'm about to film a sit down video for Patreon. Like I just said, it's Monday. It's like 11 in the morning. I just wrapped up my stuff for editing clients for the day. So we're gonna do a little bit of filming then jump over to my project. I'm currently working on what I've been referring to as Gracie's book. The first half has been off with my critique partner. I just got back her feedback on that this morning. I'm still finishing up a couple of edits for the second half. So ideally I'd like to wrap that up today so I can just send the second half to her today. So that's the plan. First we're gonna sit down and film. I'll, I'll update you some more later. Okay, video's up and edited and posted on Patreon. Did that had some lunch, answered some emails. It's now almost two o'clock. Haven't worked on Gracie's book yet. I did pull it up and I read through my critique partner's notes. And I know like what I need to do, but I keep like opening the document, just staring at the chapter and like nothing happens. Can you tell that Dane likes that toy? So I'm gonna get up. I feel like I need to move around. So I'm gonna go work out and hopefully we'll get back to this tonight. I've been putting off, like this change realistically is gonna take me like 15 minutes to do. I've been putting it off for days. I just like do not want to. I don't know why. So I'm gonna get up, move around, hopefully, you know, shift some energy around and we'll, we'll try again. If you're a member of my Patreon, um, the new video just went up. I actually don't know if it's the self pub or the vlog club video for the month, it's, it's one of them. Basically, I get a lot of questions pretty often on like, how do you stay productive and motivated and creative and like keep making progress in your writing and stuff if you have things going on in your life, if you're stressed and X, Y, and Z, stuff like that. So this whole video was about like the things I've been doing over the last two years to manage my stress, better my life, lower my cortisol levels, all of those kind of things, which have, you know, bettered my quality of life in general, but also I feel like really helped improve my work and creativity and stuff. So it's kind of like a niche video Hope you like it. Anyway, we're gonna go work out. Also, now that I managed to like clear out my apartment from all of the Kickstarter stuff, I finally like rearranged my bookshelves back here. Do you wanna see them? Now that I don't have to just like shove a million books into them that I was waiting to ship out, I could actually like make them look nice again. I'm not totally happy with them, but I think they look better now. You can see I have the extra hardcovers and a couple of puzzles down there. I definitely have more than just those three, but that was what was left in one of the open boxes. A couple of the blind date with a book that I have left, my remaining paperbacks, poetry, and then a couple of the sprayed edge sets, and then my contemporary shelf, and then that one's Benny's little shelf. And I have a lot of perfume, which is a great segue because this vlog is being sponsored by the company I got all of those perfumes from, Dossier. Dossier is a fragrance company that makes dupes for luxury and designer scents. They also have home products and they come at a much more affordable cost. Plus they're clean, cruelty-free, vegan. If you go on their site, you can see what each of their scents was inspired by as well as take a quiz if you don't know where to start and they'll make some great recommendations for you. I've been using their perfume for years and I've loved every single scent that I've tried. You can search by whatever perfume you want to dupe of or if you want something that smells a little more feminine, masculine, unisex, or if there are specific notes that you prefer. If you want to check them out, I will have the link down below in the description. Make sure to use my code to get some money off and feel free to let me know if you need a scent recommendation. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the vlog. But just like, I can't tell you the last time I was able to like, have a clean apartment. No boxes here, no boxes here. I feel like my apartment is so much bigger now. Don't look back there, there's still some puzzles back there. Speaking of puzzles, I finished the one I was doing. I don't usually glue them together, but like I, the first time I ever did it was this one because it's my own. And for whatever reason, I was feeling it. So this one of Seattle, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it can go anywhere now. Happy Wednesday. Dino has an event appointment today, so we're about to leave for that. He's highly um, fearful at vet visits. So this morning has been like trying to calm him down, get his medicine in him, get him ready to go. Yesterday I sent off the second half of Gracie's book to my critique partner. We're working on an editing client today. And I also think I'm gonna put together kind of like um, an application sign up form for potential beta readers for Gracie's book. I just feel like I'm really overthinking it right now and I can't see it very objectively and I'd like to just get some other opinions. I think I'm gonna just post about it on Patreon, see if I find enough people that way and if I don't, I'll open it up elsewhere. But that's kind of my plan right now. I also, so I reached out to a couple of different cover designers to kind of get 
quotes, see where their availability was. And another one got back to me who would be able to get me in in May. So obviously a lot sooner than the August one. So now I'm kind of like, do I want to go with them and get done earlier? I don't really know at this point. So I'm kind of mulling over some cover stuff. Um, I think I told you I'm still waiting on that pre-made cover. I should get that within the next week or so. I also commissioned an artist to get some character art made, which I'm really excited about. So, got lots of things, lots of things in the works. We're back. And Miss Jardine did such a good job. He did such a good job. Had to get x-rays, had to get blood work. Mom had to pay $600. It's been a fun day in this household. The way I just got these and I'm like already tired of the bangs and wanting to grow them out. I don't know what it is. I feel like they look so different on me this time than the last time I had them. Maybe because my hair is a different color. I just like, I have not liked them since the moment I got them. Maybe it's because my hair's thinning. <laughs> We're working on client work. Let me just tell you this read aloud function in Microsoft Word. I love it. It helps me get so much more done and it helps me focus for so much longer to like I'm like reading along with it, but to have it read aloud to me, I swear by it. I do it for my own projects and I also do it for my client work. It helps so much. It also helps so much if you're proofreading, because then you hear the stuff aloud when it like repeats a word and stuff. Highly recommend. Hi, it's Thursday. I don't have a ton of updates for you as far as like anything you'd want to hear about. I don't think. Um, I'm currently making this sign up form for Grace's book beta readers and I just got off the phone with the vet so I'm just I'm stressed um so Dean yesterday had a blood work panel done and then also x-rays done so I got all the results back for that and luckily most of the blood work looked good one of his white cell blood counts or something was like slightly elevated but they didn't seem too concerned about it the x-ray I think his heart is slightly enlarged so now they want to send me to a kitty cardiologist because they wanted to put him on a steroid because I think he has asthma. He has these like breathing fits. Like he's like, it's been going on since December. It's got me concerned. We've done antibiotics and antivirals and like nothing's made it stop. So anyway, they want to do this heart thing before we start the steroid because they're worried the steroid could make the heart thing worse if it is a real problem. And obviously I'm going to do anything I need to do for him. But it's like the first vet visit with the... Um, antibiotics and stuff was like $300 altogether. This one was $600. So we've already spent $900 and now I'm gonna go to a cardiologist just as another like check the box to make sure he's okay before we even get to the steroid and then I'm gonna have to start paying for this medicine. And this is just, I'm nervous about how much this is gonna add up. So that's where we're at right now. Plus like um, just being concerned about Dean in general, so. That's what's been going on. He's also been throwing up a lot lately, so now we're thinking about getting him on this like prescription food diet. It's just been poor little guy. And I think I'm also like, oh my god, I'm like gonna cry. I'm like still so <laughs> traumatized about what happened to my dog that like any health issues with the best right now is just really stressing me out. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm gonna try and get some client work done today and hopefully get this beta reader situation taken care of. That's what's going on. Thank you.